Clouds. Locked. What's good on Spartans? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a clan appreciation day just showing two of my guys that have been very loyal for a very long time. They've been with me for three years. They got a couple good raids the last two days. Um, so I decided to just record this random one while I'm playing today. And I want to go and commentate over it. This is actually a Lava Lunion done by Nocta. He's been with me for at least two years. God, he's been with me since King Spartans. Way before then, even Angels and Devils, the original clan I had. Uh, same clan people, just different name, obviously. And as you can see, he's doing a pretty solid job here. It is a Tunnel 9, so it's not overly hard to beat. But he is doing a solid job and getting a lot of loot. And that's what he really was going for, was the loot. And that is what he got. So, also guys, if you haven't actually seen, in about two hours, I'm actually going to post on my King channel. And that will actually have a parody on there. And if I should put it on this channel, let me know. It's a parody of Rival Kingdoms and has Clash of Clans involved. I saw it at random from a friend, and I thought it was pretty funny, so I went ahead and decided I was going to post it. So it'll be up in two hours on my King channel. That parody is actually pretty funny. It's got to do with Frozen and Rival Kingdoms and Clash of Clans, so definitely go check that out. Now, guys, let's see here. What's going on? We have 320, 338,000, whatever, gold, and 400,000 plus Elixir won already. This is a heck of a win. Very well done. Now, he is going to clean out these edges and then drop his heroes. And he's going to go for that town hall, I think. But uh, if I was him, I think he's going for a three-star, to be honest. And I think he wanted that town hall to secure that second star pretty easily. But we shall see. Oh, my God. People are lighting me up. If you guys haven't heard, though, I actually am using a new chat service. I will be talking about that in a later video. Um, it's actually going to be really good for my fans. And I'll be giving away gift cards and such on there and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it'll be really cool. Also, for the people that won the last giveaway, congratulations. Um, I will be shipping out your shirts this early this week, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that. I think I got one email back with the address. Someone else didn't email their address back, so I definitely need that. I'll be uh, following up on that email very shortly. Um, anyway, see how I got a little sidetracked there. These heroes are going in from the top, and they're going to go through these walls. It's going to take a little bit of time, but he is going to get to this town hall. His queen's going to lock on and take out the town hall about halfway, I think, if I remember correctly watching it. And he actually does a very good job here being patient with his king. If he had raged his king early right now to get through this wall, what would have happened is he'd hit this big bomb and these skelly traps and he lost all of his barbarians. But instead he waits till his king is right here on the town hall and rages him, gets rid of the town hall, gets rid of those skelly traps, and now covers his queen for even longer. So things are very, very well done at this point. And you can see the queen is now in vis because he's running out of time and he just wants to get as much destruction done as possible with three seconds left and there we go gonna hit these walls i think he calls it to an end here and uh 418,000 gold 430,000 elixir definitely a nice win especially since it's a 200,000 uh i think it's 200,000 bonus for being a champion three i'm not sure i have not been a champion three since the update i've been in titans league the entire time so that is uh that's what we're working on right now is continue to push up so we will be showing a push to titans two tomorrow and then I think the day after will be Garching. Uh, I think I'll be showing some Garch 2.0 raids up at 4,200, 4,300. Hopefully we can get there today. We shall see. We are at 4,214. And if we don't lose any crazy rough raids, we should do just fine today. I'm hoping to get to 4,250 minimum. That is the minimum I want to get to. So I'll play until like, I don't know. I'll probably play another three hours or so. I'm in the middle of a session right now. And then I'll probably play until... I'll take a break, and I'll probably play like 10 or 11 o'clock at night until 6 a.m. Or whatever, whenever 6 hours runs up, depending on what time I start at. Either 10, 11, or midnight. I start at random times on the weekend, but I definitely play the night shift every night, which is really rough. I usually start about 11 o'clock at night, and I play till 5 a.m. Now, a lot of people are like, that's crazy, but that's probably, you know, probably why people are not in Titans, because that really does help a lot playing at night. Besides for the fact that a lot of people are logging offline and therefore there's tons of bases popping up because it's the middle of the night, um, there's also the fact that there's a lot of people that are getting tired and so they log off without having clan castle troops. Now the only risk though is that since you're also going to be tired, you can make stupid mistakes. So you do got to be very careful with it, uh, playing that late at night obviously. But I don't know. I mean I've made my fair share of mistakes playing too late at night, but it's okay. Anyway, we are at 58%. We got that first star. The, uh, oh, look at that. He's got a clan castle with two hogs and a P.E.K.K.A. That's actually a really solid clan castle. And we can see here, 
he actually is going to take out this expo he does make one mistake in this raid and it's gonna really kind of hurt him a bit here and you're gonna see what it is he should have froze with that second free spell he should have froze that Tesla and the expo in order to basically save his uh, basically to save his hogs there but unfortunately he does miss drop his freeze in a second and you're gonna see that right here miss drop freeze he tapped the screen on accident trying to you know whatever he was doing I don't know what he's trying to do but he accidentally dropped it whoops it happens even to the best of us and destroyer really is one of the best he's an amazing player guys and I will never ever say otherwise because he really does a great job he's actually on vacation right now so won't be saying any real raids from for another five days but that's okay. Here we go. We are at 318,000 gold, 318,000 elixir, 2300 dark. And it looks like 98%. Come on, go. 20 seconds left to get that last 2%. But we're going to waste our entire time on a wall. So this wall is actually going to hold those troops. And the minion's not going to be strong enough to take out that last chance clan castle. And this is actually going to be a sad raid. 99.9% basically because that clan castle was just about gone too bad he didn't win this one with a three star but a really awesome win indeed hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to like comment and of course stay tuned for tomorrow when i'll have another video tomorrow's will be even more exciting i'll see you guys then peace